are you guys doing here? How'd you guys beat me here? <sighs> you guys are good. I'll tell you what, you guys got your stealth game down. Much better at it than I am. Well, you know where we're at. We're at the Gulag Camp. The Illinois Gulag Camp. And uh, we're getting an overnighter in. And this time I'm going to stay. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope you're enjoying the, the videos I'm putting out. Try to make them as entertaining as I can and realistic. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways guys, it's good to see you. I'm glad to be back uh, doing overnighter. It's been a little while because I actually stayed overnight. Uh, last time I was out here it didn't work out so well. So. But uh, yeah, got my Dutch, uh, my Dutch windproof smock on. Not my Dutch. I'm sorry, British. This is British. Ah, right there. British smock on. Got my Dutch military backpack, and I got my Dutch sleeping pad. And that thing is like that thick. And I bought it from um, ex military store over in the Netherlands. And that's the only place I could find it. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna check that out. And I did, I did something to my, uh, to some of my, uh, to my mess kit. And I brought a couple of things. We're gonna go over that stuff. And uh, yeah, all right. I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. You guys are good though. I'll tell you what. I didn't see you when I was coming up. You guys got me by surprise. You guys. Okay, guys, we're back here at the Soviet era gulag thorn tree. I just realized this was a Soviet tree here. It's even got a Soviet mess kit hanging from it. Can you believe that? I sure can. I got Gorkas growing in my backyard, so. But yeah, this is the Soviet tree. And this is the Soviet mess kit. You guys see anything different? Check it out. I put me a belt buckle on it because mine didn't have one. Two dollars, goodwill, a knife, and a hole to poke for the buckle itself to go through. I just had to, to get, take the edges off. It was just about, it was a little too wide. It was about that wide on both sides so I had to take it down to that and I mean it works it worked out perfect yep I'm pretty pleased with that that was a little project I did a couple days ago two dollars you can't beat that <laughs> and it was fun to do okay guys got the mess kit and we're gonna have some coffee because I'm thirsty well, coffee really won't hydrate you, but it just tastes really good. Ooh, here's dinner tonight. Minstrone soup mix. Oh yeah, that'll be good. And we're gonna be cooking on the S-Bit. I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with these. And we got trioxine fuel. Three bars. Now it's funny. Well, it's not really funny, but my dad, I, these, the, my dad had a bunch of surplus stuff he used to sell back in the 90s. He had a box of these for three in one box. One dollar is how much he was selling them for. Last time I looked, these trioxine fuel bars, if I can remember correctly, they're almost ten dollars for just three, three bars. Almost ten dollars. I'm telling you what, guys, this stuff is going up in price. It's crazy. Get it while you can because one day it's going to be gone. Let's make some coffee. Yeah, I'm just going to use a half a bar. That's all I need. Can you guys believe it? I'm not like making a feather stick. <laughs> Pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, don't panic. It's all right. 
Get some water in there with my big old gallon jug. That yeah, should be good. Don't need a whole lot. Be up all night. All right. I got some Yuko Strike Anywhere matches. See how good that works. I have some Espit tablets, but I couldn't find them. I like Trox and feel much better though. Taster's choice, sugar. And we're gonna open this up with my Tonto, my Cold Steel Tonto. That, just for the effect, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Light my fire spork. Kind of stir that up. Add a little bit of sugar. Nasdrovia. I learned a little bit of Polish back in the day. Some things I shouldn't have learned, but I did. I have a little bit of Polish in me. I'm, I'm, you would you would consider me a, probably a true blood, uh, true blooded Polak. Probably I'm probably three quarters Polak. I don't know. My last name's really Makowitz, and um, my grandfather had gotten it, he had gotten it changed um, back in the day, my grandma told me. So, okay, long story short, I guess, okay. Long story short, my grandfather is from Chicago area, and my dad and my grandfather and my grandma, they all grew up in Western Springs area. It's a suburb of Chicago. My grandfather worked for Ralph Capone. That's what my grandma told me. And uh, he worked for Ralph Capone for a while, just like as a bus boy, not like a mobster or anything like that. And he quit working there when he came to work one day and there was a dead body sitting out in front of the bar. And Ralph Capone is Al Capone's brother, I believe. So I always speculate that the reason why he got his last name changed is because of that. But my grandma told me it's because of the business that he was in. I can't remember what it was for sure. But a lot of people had a hard time pronouncing Makowitz. It's a Polish last name. I don't know. It's kind of one of those mysteries, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I want to do an ancestry thing sometime and see how much Polish is in me. I'm sure it's probably more than I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Hello, guys. Going to eat me a Luna bar. Lemon zest, natural flavor, gluten free, 8 grams of protein, non GMO. Let's try it out. It was like four of these for or a dollar each for if you get four of them, so that wasn't too bad. It's healthy and nutrition, nutritional. And lately, I've been craving a lot of lemon stuff. I don't know why. Oh, this looks pretty good. Hmm. Try it out. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
That's pretty good. Cheers again, buddies. Comrades. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> so what are we going to do today? Guess I'm going to have to figure that one out, aren't I? <laughs> It's probably like 3 o'clock. I'm going to get some wood, gather some wood up, and uh, get a fire going. Blah, 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 blah. Even talk. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys my uh, Dutch sleeping pad. Alright, let's check this out. It's pretty nice. The only place I could find this was overseas, <laughs> uh, the Netherlands, and uh, I was really iffy about that too, but it, I came, I got this in like less than two weeks, I think. But it's the Dutch Military Sleeping Foam Mattress, and it's like, it's like two of the USGI mattresses just in one. If you can see how thick that is. I forgot the thickness of them, but yeah, I mean, that's all it is, just a foam mattress, nothing fancy. The only thing is, it's, it's not very wide, so, I mean, I'm a wider guy, but it'll do, this will be my first time using it, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to use this. Usually I have my big uh, Thermarest Base Camp uh, sleeping mat, which is really nice, but it's just, you gotta blow it up and roll it up, this is pretty simple. So yeah, pretty thick. And it's got the eyelets here. Got eyelets. Those are they're really nice. I mean they're sturdy. You can see it. That's on foam too. That's I mean it's done really well. So I don't know if they still use these or what, but I mean it's pretty nice. So yeah, that's the Dutch uh, foam mat. Well let's go cut some wood up guys. And uh, well, I got the Silky F-180 today, so we'll be using that, we'll get some wood cut up. Man, that thing is like a samurai sword. <laughs> That's so strong. And of course, I'm using hedge. Hopefully I can find some different trees other than hedge, but I mean, hedge is good. I don't know what it is, me and hedge, we just don't get along. 
I'll tell you what, the saw's doing pretty good still. Hedge is a, hedge is a hard wood. And this thing is still cut really good. And I haven't broke it yet. That's always a plus, right? <laughs> I like this knife, or the saw, samurai saw, because this is a samurai saw. It's a miniature one. Ooh. Well, tonight we're not really gonna do the Illinois Barian Fire, AKA Siberian Log Fire. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. Gotta watch out for the thorns. Hedge has got thorns too, if you didn't know. Gotta watch out for those. But uh, yeah, so I don't need a whole lot of big pieces. I just like doing that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, man, this one's really thorny. I gotta be careful, otherwise, I might end up in the hospital. That's another technique. Technique to uh, the. That's another technique to uh, split wood too, and it works really well. I don't know about you, Matey's, but I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Sorry. I <laughs> uh, just been kind of sitting here and waiting to bring you guys on back. We're gonna get some cooking going on. And I'm going to set you guys down right next to the fire for a minute or two. You can watch me light it up. And, uh, yeah. Going to be getting some dinner here pretty quick. Well, I hope you guys can see me. Got our trioxine fuel. And we're gonna get this fire going and get some dinner going. I'm getting hungry. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. It don't take much to excite me. <laughs> Here we go, the Yuko Strike Anywhere Yuko Gear Matches. I can't see it, but it must be going.
I'm gonna I'm gonna move this a little bit. Oh figures right when I wanna move it. Got to try to get this. Let's get away from the heavy flames. Here we go. Uh -huh. Too much. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's boiling away. It's almost done. Let me get a little bit of a stir here. I gotta try it and see if it's ready yet. <laughs> like I'm getting hungry. Mm. Ooh, it's almost there. Ooh, that's hot. I got the mess kit to the side because it was getting really hot in there. Alright guys, I'll bring it back in a minute. Cannot spill it. I gotta eat this food, I'm so hungry. I gotta, I gotta thank God for it though first. Heavenly Father, in the name of Yeshua, I pray to you and I thank you and I bless you for this food and I bless you for this day. In Yeshua's name, amen. All right. Man, I hope you guys are having fun. And if, if you kind of were curious in who Yeshua is, <laughs> that's who most people call Jesus. But uh, his name is actually Yeshua, it's not Jesus. But anyways, so I hope you guys are having fun, enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this day, it's really nice. I'm trying something different. Because I've had a lot of issues with uploading videos because I don't have a movie maker for a laptop. And so I can't merge videos together. I think YouTube does it, but I don't know how to do it. So for the longest time, I had to do a lot of my movies in parts. And I had to do, I had like a 15 minute window of getting a one part in because that's all YouTube uploads is 15 minutes or GoPro. So I'm trying to do different clips here and there. And I'm hoping this is going to work. I got a movie maker app on my phone. And I'm going to try and try to merge all these together and just make it one, one part. So... And it makes it easier for me to film because filming and doing it like that, oh, it's, it's a lot of work. Because I have to have everything ready for the most part. I got to know what I'm going to do. And I got to film. I have a 15 minute window. It's a lot of work. This is so much more easier. And I can, I have more energy. I can, I don't have to plan so much. I can just turn the camera on, click it off. I see something, I want to show you guys, I want to do something, and then just click it off. So I'm really hoping this is going to work. But, uh,. Let me get a bike because I'm talking your head off. Mm. That was very hot. But very good. I have to take a picture of it and give it to, send it to my wife. <laughs> um. Oh, anyways, guys, it's been a lot of fun. Probably after this, is probably gonna be it for the night. Um, I got a movie I'm gonna watch tonight. I downloaded on Netflix. Um, uh, what's it? I think it's called Highwaymen. It's got Kevin Costner in it and uh, Woody Harrelson. So, yeah, it's about Bonnie and Clyde. Just a movie to watch and hit the sack. For sure, I will be staying overnight, and uh, I'll see if I don't see you later on the night. You guys have a good night, and um, I will see you in the morning. Guys, this has been a lot of fun today. So, God bless you, and I will see you guys in the morning. see me or not fire's going really good and, uh, I just bring it back one more time guys before I go to bed I'm getting ready to go lay down my sleeping bag and uh, watch uh, 
Highway Land, I think it's called. Um, with uh, uh, Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, guys. Oh, how did you guys sleep last night? I slept pretty good. Uh, oh, boy. This mat, it's pretty, like, pretty solid mat. Like, there's no cushion whatsoever. This Dutch military mat that I have. I didn't fall asleep till probably after 12. And I got pee twice. <laughs> it's always fun. What time is it? I think it's 640. Uh. Uh, I heard it. Uh. <sighs> yeah, it's 7 o'clock. Ah. Uh. I want to get up. <laughs> Guys, it's been a fun adventure. I'm probably just going to pack up and... Probably just going to pack up and go home. Oh, Just got to wake up. I guess I better get up. I'm getting old. <laughs> I can barely fit in these bags. And... Oh gosh. I'm half awake. I watched that movie last night, Highway Men, on Netflix. It was pretty good. It's about Bonnie and Clyde. It wouldn't have been that good of a movie. If Kevin Costner wasn't in it and Woody Harrelson, it would have been a crappy movie if it was different actors. But that's the only, about the only reason why it was halfway decent was because they were in it. But other than that, it wouldn't have been any good. <laughs> Alright, guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> okay, guys. I don't think I'm even going to make any coffee tonight. Or this morning. I don't think I'm going to make any coffee this morning. I'm just going to get packed up and I'm going to head home. So guys, if you like this video, just uh, let me know. And uh, uh, let's see. Right there would be a subscribe button. If you would, please hit it and hit the notification bell. Down there would be some other videos you can watch. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, guys. So... God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. See you soon.